What's up YouTube? It's the dawn where shit gets real. And today, like in each and every day, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Um, today is not gonna be a really a review. It's more or less like a follow-up. Uh, it's been an interesting week. I've been speaking to this guy up in the New York, New Jersey area, and he told me that Leo from UL was coming in town. So he came in town, he went to a, a vape expo up in Pennsylvania this weekend, and he was driving down south to see one of the biggest reviewers on vape related products that we know today. Um, but on his way down there, he wanted to stop and meet with me. So the guy up in New Jersey that knows me, reached out to me, gave me his information, gave, gave Leo my information. We linked up at my local shop, Flavor Vapor Cafe. Great shop, by the way. Sell a lot of clones, a lot of authentics, and a whole lot of juice. A lot of juice. Um, so, if you're in the Maryland area, check out Flavor Vapor Cafe. Uh, they're going to be having an online site soon, so you can order stuff from them online. Really nice big shop. But anyway, <clears throat> he came in town. He wanted some feedback on his tank. He knew I had one of his tanks, um, and he wanted some feedback. He didn't want no good feedback. He wanted bad feedback. So he came to the shop, customers in the shop, owners of the shop, uh, employees of the shop, all huddled up, looked at this tank, played with the tank, took it apart, played with it, vaped it, and everybody was hard pressed to give him bad feedback. Now we did give him some suggestions like, hey, a cage, that might work, a cage, because you know, that we also explained to him, in this community, it's always going to be that one person that says, oh, this sucks because it don't have a cage. Okay. It comes with an extra glass. Um, so okay. we, we try to explain to him that in America, we kind of spoil. You know, we want everything perfect, which, you know, that's what we do. That's what we do. Um, so, yeah, we gave him some feedback. We told him adjustable 510, you know, because of the hybrid scare. Um, we gave him a lot of good, constructive information. Anyway, I was a little ignorant to the fact that who UL was. Comes to find out that they, according to Leo, in, in China, let me put it like this. Let's say this is my mod um, and I'm in China and this is the smock uh, AY. Let's say this is my device. Now, in China, I don't make the chip. So I source the chip out, let's say the Yi. I don't make the buttons, so I get the buttons from Michael. Um, I don't make the, 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 the plastic, so I get the plastic from such and such. I don't make the screws, so I get the screws from such and such. Well, UL, they make coils. So according to Leo, they supplied up to 70% of all the manufacturers with coils. So it's more, it's most likely you probably vape one of their coils before. So that was their specialty. So they decided to hate it. We're going to we're going to make our own device and we're going to start making our own vape gear. And this is their first go ahead. And I tell you what, they did a really good job. And the coils in this thing is what really makes this thing shine. The coils are, are really, 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 really good. Um, so he expressed to me that, hey, the coils are stainless steel. The resistance part is stainless steel. There is non-resistance wire to stainless steel. It's 316 stainless steel. Um, what else? Oh, I did like a little mini interview with him. You guys, you got to remember, his English is not the greatest. Um, so I, you know what I'll do? I'll just cut to that video right now. What's up, YouTube? It's the dog. It's Leo. Where shit get real. <laughs> okay, I'm sitting here today with Leo from UL Technologies. And he <clears throat> was kind enough to uh, send me one of these crown... Uh, sub tanks and I gotta say it's one of the best ones I've had thus far um, but I'm, I'm sitting here today and I'm gonna ask uh, Leo a couple questions um, from my first video I uh, made a statement about the material of the coil maybe Leo can help us out with that Leo <clears throat> what is the material of the coil the coil material is stainless steel stainless steel yeah. so I guess I was wrong when I said it was a uh, uh, Cantho. <clears throat> Another question I got for you, uh, Leo. Is this your? Is this UL's first item? Yeah, that is the our first item, right? It's yes. your first tank. So this is their first go at a tank, and I gotta say, it's very, very well. Now, 
another question that people's going to want to know is when can we get one of these? Oh, that's the. I mean, the, you can order right now with the wholesalers and the shops. Okay, yeah. so right now it'll, it'll be wholesalers and shops. So yeah. get your local shops. I'll put this information down below so that you can pass that information on to your local shops. Yeah. Another thing, will there be nickel coils in the future? Yes, we are working on the nickel coil right now after the tasting that will be available in the market. Okay, so there we go. That seems about wraps up all the questions that I had for uh, Mr. Leo from UL Technologies. Like I said, guys, this is one of the best sub tanks that I've had thus far. Thank you so much, Leo. Thank you for visiting our great state. We are in Flavor Vapor Cafe in Merlin. Um, they'll soon have an uh, uh, online site where you can order it uh, here. But if you live in the state of Merlin, they will be having some very shortly. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy our tanks. So you guys can see he's a fan of my channel. Leo, it's just get real. Okay, so um, yeah, so I had a good time with Mr. Leo and as I was recording this, the DHL man came. <laughs> I got four of these. Um, four. I'm only showing you two, but I got four of them. Um, and I got coils to go with them as well. So, yes, I will be giving them away um, once I reach 2,000 subscribers, which should be very, very soon. Now, I'm going to do it a little different this time. I'm not going to have my wife scroll through my subscriber list and pick somebody. And the reason why is because people are winning and they're not watching my channel. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing and not watching, but <laughs> people are winning and not subscribing. So... I'm not hunting everybody down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this stuff away on my Facebook page. I will post a link below um, to my Facebook page. It's called The Dawn. Um, I'm not real big, so it's probably be hard to find. So better yet, just click that link. It'll take you straight to it. What you do is you like the page. And if you want to post something, you want to ask me a question, because sometimes I can't always answer the YouTube comments. Post something. You, you, you click on the page. Like right below the information it'll say post to page click on that and then you'll see all the post to page where you can post and you see other people's posts if you got a question if you want to show me something or if you want to show other people that's on the page something feel free to do it but that's why i'm gonna give it away i'll probably give it away on my page um but you must be a subscriber as well to win so that'll be coming in the near 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 super near future also i'll be giving away a jellyfish these crown tanks, uh, an OBS tank, some juice, an Atlantis V2. I got a brand spanking new Atlantis V2, um, courtesy of a juice maker. And I don't have the juice maker in front of me. Um, that's kind of rude. Um, let me let me look real quick, cause I got it right here. Got it right here. Um, drip cloak, drip cult. By the way, that juice, I only tried two of them. That shit is delicious. Drip Cult. Um, yeah, so courtesy of the Drip Cult, they're going to be donating uh, Atlantis V2. Already got it in hands, in hand right now, ready to ship out. Um, I don't know what this shipping, man. I, I don't know. I might. I don't know. Shipping is killing me right now. I, I'm shipping some stuff all the time. But anyway, enough of that. Let me take a tote. I took apart one of the coils as the DHL man as the DHL man was delivering. So I kind of messed that video up, but it's two wires. It's you know a dual parallel coil, um, and it looks like it's about 26 gauge. I would say if I had to guess, 20, 25, 26 gauge um, non-resistant resistance wire. Um, the material in it is cotton. I pulled it apart. It doesn't come apart like the first Atlantis, it's cotton. You really have to pull on it for it to come apart. Um, and it's a lot of it in there. And I, I believe that's the reason why it tastes so good. Um, sometimes when it's not enough cotton, you get that popping sound. You don't get that full on flavor. This one, it, it, it's good. Let me take a toe. Fried ice cream. 
that shit's pretty good. But anyway, that's about it. Just wanted to guys show you guys the little interview I did with Leo. Tell you about my giveaway. Oh, this red shirt you see me wearing. Give, live, love. That's my motto. You know what I mean? I love giving away stuff. I love helping people. My brokerage, Keller Williams Preferred Properties out of Upper Marlboro, Maryland, we raised fifty thousand dollars just in our office. Not Keller Williams around the world, not your local Keller Williams. My office raised fifty K to uh donate a library to a school that needed a library. So we found a school in our county that needed a library. We bought all the books, all of the books. We bought all of the shelving. We bought all the tables. We bought all the chairs. We bought the projector. We bought the camera. We bought, I believe, 24 iPads. It's either 12 or 24. I believe it's 24. 24 iPad minis so that these elementary kids could have books that otherwise they didn't have a library. Now they got a library with books, computers, iPads. Um, I just think it was a great, great, great thing. So I spent all morning there helping putting the books on the shelves, putting together tables. Um, the kids gave us a little, uh, you know, recital. Um, it, it, it was, it was a, it was a nice event. Um, really proud of my office for raising that kind of money and doing that. Um, I encourage you to, you know, to help out, donate to people in need when you can. So I'm going to wrap it up with this. If you know somebody that's on the stinkies and you see them once or twice a week, give them your old equipment. Let them borrow your old equipment. You ain't got to give it to them. Let them borrow. Hey, look, try this out for a week. Explain the battery safety. Tighten up the airflow. Tell them there's plenty of other juices. And tell them to check back with you in a week. In that week's time, if they really, really like it, try to convince them to buy like a 20 or 30 watt device. That way they can grow. If they're stubborn or if they, you know, they're iffy, yeah, get them one of those little pins, you hit the button, but try to get them one where you can adjust the wattage on the bottom so they can at least grow into something else. Um, don't want to see them waste money. And don't tell them they're going to be spending all that extra money on vape gear. Don't tell them that. Let them find that out on their own. But uh, anyway, until the next time, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next time, pay it forward. Let me take a toast. I know it was something I forgot. Peace.